I have been seeing somebody and they are, it's just kind of really gone really fast. We've been talking a lot, like video, pretty much all night since we've met. So this is why I'm dressed more conservative today. <laughs> I like that. I kind of like that. I don't look like a slut. <laughs> Another thing I like to do is put a little bit of lube just on the inside. Josh Moon would love to suck my fat pussy. I need my prints. <laughs> There are things I liked about being in a relationship with an Arabic man, I realize now. The conservative um, nature of it, I kind of, I'm kind of, i kind of liking right now at this point in my life. Um, the idea of having an actual husband to take care of me as a wife and like mutual bond of respect and built on va actual values other than just, you know, sex. And he wants to buy me a ticket for a month to go <laughs> and he wants to get married. But he's like almost perfect in every way. Like, the men in that culture take care of everything. And you know what? I fucking love that. I want to be taken care of, guys. You know, it's nice to be worshipped. He calls me goddess, and he's like, I love it. Beautiful hair and beard, black, and beautiful teeth, and and looks at me and just like, I can't wait till you're here, baby. And just his body and, oh, fuck. Yeah, he probably would have another wife. Would I be okay with that? Maybe. Salam alaikum. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. This is very surprising i'm sure for a lot of you guys and it's not a live stream i'm trying this out in all honesty because you know that i have been very overwhelmed with a lot of attention in general i guess that i'm getting online i know that i need to have some negative with the positive i know that i will be re forever remembered for my rages um i always have tried to do what I felt was the appropriate thing to do when it comes to criticism. I mean, I started a YouTube channel. I was just throwing myself into this and I really just didn't really, never imagined what kind of world it was. And I really had no idea. As you can see, I purchased my first hijab today. Um, this is just a two piece set. Um, I could do more videos on that another time. And it's actually really comfortable. And I'm actually surprised when I put it on how it just fit and just felt nice. Um, I feel that, I feel good being covered. I'm a little bit insecure about my hair loss and I just feel more secure. I have decided to try to be more, try to adopt different values, try to be more humble because at the end of the day, when you eat all of the paneer and you eat all of the fried chicken sandwiches and you, you, you know, you sleep with the world and you do all kinds of things that are just temporary gratification, you realize that there's just, at the end of the day, there's just only so much temporary instant gratification and bad habits that you can chase. And at the end of the day, you're still just left with what now? So I feel like things that are more important to me are starting to be our values and principles and things like that. And I really just kind of want to start actually doing the legwork and turning a new leaf. Now, I'm still Chantal, and I'm still Foodie Beauty. I always will be, and I just always need to be moving on and experiencing so many different things in life. The type of life I want to live, I don't think is just inside of four walls, you know, all the time. I just want to say that I'm not sure what is going to be happening going forward in the future. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly where this journey will take me. So far, it's been taking twists and turns, and honestly, some of them have been very painful, and some of them have been really, really hard, hard lessons. But at the end of the day, I think that I can say I'm grateful for the experiences, because that's how I learn. Um, I'm my own worst enemy, 
and but I'm also my own best friend because I know that I learn from my mistakes and I'm learning to love myself. I'm learning to do better for myself. I'm learning to just learn that it's okay to not be okay. It's really okay to just accept things the way they are. I know I still have a lot of a lot of personal work to do on myself. For my own mental health, it's probably better for me to really be more reserved in a lot of ways in my life to protect myself. Please, please, can we all just stop the hatred? My life is better than anyone else's who's fucking- You're fucking blocked. You fucking ugly. Yeah, worry about your dead animals. I'm done. I've had enough of your shit. Fuck you. My fucking vlog was very positive and uplifting. If I have to start dieting and exercising and eating 1,200 fucking calories a day, bitch, just to take you down and save money, I fucking will. Did I shame Dee Dee a lot of times? Fuck yes. It's because I've been pushed to this point from that fucking bitch. And disgusting behavior. Me too. I don't want to rage anymore. I want to just be left alone to do my things. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want my family to be attacked. That's about it. I picked up some shish tauk and I'm about to go eat. So yeah, I went into this store um, here in Ottawa and they sell hijabs and I just thought that it was really cute. And so going forward, I'm not sh too sure exactly what I'm going to do for my channel. I do still want to do some streams. And most importantly, I hate hearing people say I don't appreciate my, my VIBs. I love you guys so much. You're part of my life. Like, to, to, just, I cannot say how much I appreciate you. And I am truly sorry if I've ever been very verbally abusive to you or verbally abusive in any way. Sometimes I just feel like some comments are just a bit too much sometimes. Going forward, I do also want to change that way. Uh, the energy on my channel is what I'm what I want to say I want to change things to be more positive I probably will end up doing more vlogs and travel content I know things are always constantly changing just like so drastically on my chain channel and I know people are concerned about my mental health and I understand that I really truly truly believe that a lot of problems would go away if I just really listen to what spiritually is ailing me and realign myself with some values, you know, and morals and stick to the principles of what's important. All of these bells and whistles, all of these rich foods and fancy things and electronics and all that, that's not important. That really are just comforts, but they're temporary and they don't make us happy. I've just always been searching for what really makes me happy as a person. And I've never really known who I am as a person, as a spirit, you know, going forward, um, you might see some very crazy things on my channel. Just watch and enjoy and, you know, give your two cents. Try to be as nice about it as you can. And that's it. I mean, we all have different values. We come from different walks of life. The world is a very, the world is such a big space place. And there's so many differences and different possibilities that there's a unique way of living room enough for everyone to live their own unique way of living completely differently from everyone else there's room enough there's room enough